<laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be a part of it. Hey, everybody. Uh, doing an update. I'm getting quite a few of you guys reaching out through text. Want to know an update for the day. Had made one. Um, been a rough day for pain and nausea for her. And uh, she's, I think, finally feeling a, a touch of relief right now. I lay in the bed. Um, she did uh, She did the, the same amount of uh, physical therapy and uh, the occupational therapy today, the same amount of walking as she did yesterday, um, with the exception of she didn't do the steps because she was just feeling too dizzy and nauseated. Um, she felt a little beat up today, but we've all reminded her that um, this is temporary and she's well on her way and um, she's leaps and bounds ahead of where she was. Um, she just a few minutes ago finally heard it come out of the doctor's mouth that Saturday she was basically dying and um, you know and he was just telling her that everything above that is up and up um, so that was good good that he said that because up till now it's just come out of my mouth um, what else um, when she did her physical therapy therapy today she was trying to run uh, she's eager to just get things going and she went really fast um, so you know that's good she's she's getting some some good motor skills worked back up she's doing amazing so proud of her she's getting a little grumpy she's tired of being here uh, as we all would be <clears throat> uh, but she's doing great um god's really taking care of her and uh just thank everybody for uh just reaching out and you know those of you who are, are doing stuff um you know rob michelle you guys are holding down the fort with my kids uh, appreciate that and um, uh, you know the better together group you guys are awesome um, it's just stopping by and checking in it's, 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 it's really good I realized today that uh, today is um, day seven I think it, it, we came in here Friday morning early last week and we've been here and today's Friday again so we've been here seven days I'm gonna be here through next week minimum bare minimum and He's talking about <clears throat> he wants a, a week of inpatient rehabilitation. Um, so I'm thinking that's at least another week. Um, but I mean, the way she's moving around, if she could really, if she had a grip on her dizziness and her nausea, um, I really think she would be, um, I would feel comfortable with her being home. But just to get her out of here. But she's got a lot of swelling. It's going to take time to go down, and it would be a lot faster if she were here getting the IV meds rather than being on oral meds. So there's that. So I don't want to rush it. But she's doing really good. Somebody knock on the door? No, no it was somebody. Um, what else? Uh, MRI results. Um, she's showing some, um, some sort of residual... Uh, tissue around where one of the tumors were removed um, and he said it's something we need to watch you know throughout the healing process but he's not concerned as long as her symptoms and health are actually whether it's a slow or, or fast pace whether as long as they're moving in the right direction and she's not you know developing like Sarah like a meningitis type situation or something like that so that's good and he said he saw some some reduction in the swelling uh, through the MRI, and he didn't see any additional strokes. Um, just meaning uh, he didn't see any additional, you know, blood clotting or, or any damage, uh, any any new anything that, that was unknown. Is the best way to say that. Um, but there was uh, she did have a blood clot. There was tissue damage originally. That's what they went in to to, to take care of and. Uh, do whatever they do to repair that open that vein up what whatnot so they did what they could um but there was some damage in the cerebellum area but uh, he was telling her that all of her nausea and dizziness it's, it's extreme it's really extreme compared to previous and uh, he was telling her that it's absolutely uh, expected and um you know normal and she's got a she's got a you know she'll she'll just have to work through it and uh, it'll it'll pass as the swelling goes down and the same with her uh her double vision it should subside after the swelling goes down but um she been in a lot of pain a lot of nausea today so it's been rough on her um 
like I said, she's feeling okay at the moment, and it's like almost six o'clock. Um, you want to say hey out loud, baby? Hey. hey. <laughs> so she's over there laying down. Uh, the uh, occupational therapist came in and they like brushed her hair a little bit and got her um, feeling like a human being again. Uh, so that was good. And um, yeah, she's just been beat up. She's 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 mad at the world right now, and rightfully so. I would be too. And I'm trying to give her some tough love, but she's not responding well to tough love. So I'm gonna find another tactic. Um, before she kills me in my sleep <laughs> but anyway but she's doing good so you guys just continue to pray for her and uh i feel i feel hopeful i feel positive that she's gonna do good she just gotta we just gotta help her push through it and um i don't understand what she's going through uh, but you know i want to and i want to i want to help and i know you know a lot of you guys don't totally understand but but we can only imagine and we're just here for her and to help her so love you appreciate it and uh, I think that's everything did I forget anything mm. <laughs> she's pitiful all right guys later